Kristen here from Scooter Bug Corner and I am hopping on to share another one of the journals in the forensic slash true crime, I guess we'll call it a series because I guess it is, because um, I made several uh, items to go along with this. I kind of got into this theme and it just took off. Um, so this particular journal will be titled Murder <laughs> and so <clears throat> the reason is this is made from a file folder. Um, it measures eight and a half inches tall, six inches wide. The spine is about one inch. And so this one has a total of two signatures uh, making for 26 pages. The front is this fun blood spatter fabric that I've grunged up, vintage-ish trim, grungy. It's got the crime scene do not cross ribbon the back of this journal is definitely fun um if you have watched some of the other journals you'll know that what the the theme that went through all of these is that they have this stitched evidence never lies somewhere within the journal down here it has forensics but then the back of this um, spells out murder uh, these are from vintage game cards and then of course this opens up where you have uh, additional ephemera in the back and you can add other things in there um, but this is just these are what in there um, it's from pages from criminology books and all kinds of stuff so Again, I'm not going to necessarily um, linger at every possible detail because we will be here forever, but um, lots of detail that went into this. Lots of mixed media, inking, clearly stitching, collaging, um, just lots and lots of little details. So let's get started. There is a pocket in the front. This is an envelope flip. The definition down here defines, you guessed it, murder. Because it's all in the details, baby. Here's a little, little bit of bling. There's just, you know, a little bit of fun. This is a stamp on a coin envelope that makes it look like an evidence um, item. So teeth, this is one way that you can identify bodies. Uh, here's a little pocket. It has a game um, card from a vintage mystery game. And so then uh, this little ephemera throughout. This is an envelope, obviously. Um, here is a like a list. Here's just a tag. It has you know, a skeletal hand and a gun charm on there. On this side, here is a card, an index card. It's been coffee dyed, has been stitched where it says forensics. Here is a pocket. Um, this is just like where I've cut some of these things out from different books. This one is actually from a um, anthropologist, a forensic anthropologist book. Some more details here. Um, Show off some of that. Looks like a case file folder, so it'd be a good place to do some secret journaling if you wish. Down here, cold blooded killers. And that's just an index card. Um, here's just, you know, some places where you can tuck some of those things in. Here's a flashcard. <laughs> so serious. Pretty sure murder is a serious thing. Kind of bad. <laughs> Obviously, it's bad. You know, I'm joking. Uh, here is a place to uh, tuck this little um, journaling notebook. It says robbery and violence. Flips out. Yes, that was a dead dude. Again, I assume if you're <laughs> watching this, you're interested in this stuff. And, you know, and here we are. Okay. Okay. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you you know, I did talk about how I incorporated duct tape. 
into this. It's commonly used in in um, crime. So there you go. Um, this is the other page of the teeth. There's a little tuck spot here that says top secret. Here's a little faux fingerprint slide. And so here is it's stuck. <laughs> um, a charmed dangle, so it looks like a blood spatter bead and a magnifying glass with a tassel. And then he, I have this journaling card uh, clipped in. That's the end of the first signature, starting the second signature. This index card here is clipped in and it has a tooth and then it says ID because again, this references where I included the teeth pages earlier. Teeth can be commonly used to help identify, especially skeletal remains is when it becomes, you know, very important. Zip ties here to make just a zip tie chain. And then it says bound in the end. This can be removed if you feel like it's too bulky or you're not liking it. But I just thought that it was fun. So I put it in there. Here's just another journaling card. Here is a flip, another envelope flip spot. And then here is another faux slide. Here is just another like fun page for journaling. This flips up here. This is a tuck spot, so you could add something else there. You know, some fun washi. This flips. Um, here is um, a tag made from a fingerprinting card. APHIS is the automated um, database that's used for searching fingerprints. So, you know, how to kind of put that there. Envelope for, you know, all that crime evidence that you're going to be collecting. <laughs> Just a bead, beaded center swab. This is a top tuck. And um, that is from a murder uh, from somebody's, you know, unfortunate demise. Uh, so the two report flashcard here, this one had all kinds of fun um, journaling spots. I've added like a faux slide, obviously a gun, gave it a pretend case name, got really into that one, I guess. <laughs> Again, like I had Maybe a little bit too much fun with this. Okay. Uh, ruffle trim. Here is another tag. Um, yeah. Those are bones. This, there's also a tuck spot back here. Here is a place that you could add more things. Tuck more things in. So here's just another pocket. An index card. And an, um, another journaling card a DNA helix over here which tucks in um, index card this is another little coin envelope um, it involves a vintage game card there that's got cluster on it heme that's component of blood just added that there for this <laughs> lovely uh layout lots of vintage trims and stuff in this as well and then this is where to the end there's another uh coffee dyed index card you can journal here and that is the end of that one so again i know it kind of went fast uh if there's if you have any other questions about this please do let me know but uh, lots of detail, really fun. I loved the making these. There's a lot to love into them. And until next time, I hope you have a great day.